How's it going, gearheads? This is Caleb here with Gear Report, and we are at the Denton Military Vehicle and Gun Show. So I want to go ahead and start this video out with a disclaimer. If you hear perhaps a minigun, a cannon, a Huey flyover, or a train, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So if I just randomly pause, it's so that you can actually hear what I have to say. So now that we've got that out of the way, I want to talk to you people about what I'm reviewing, actually what I'm wearing here today. I'm reviewing it as I wear it. It's a pair of the proper kinetic pants. They are some of the most affordable tactical pants out there, in my opinion. You can spend, the sky's the limit with tactical pants, but for an everyday person, you don't always need to spend 200 bucks. So these are around 55 bucks or so for Proper's website, but they run sales very often. You can catch them at 20, 30% discounts and free shipping from their website. So a quick rundown of the technical features of the pants. They are a ripstop fabric with a DWR, a durable water repellent finish. They come with side cargo pockets, front pockets here, obviously back pockets and any regular pockets. So plenty of pockets, but they don't feel overly obnoxious like backpack pants, where you're just wearing these huge cargo balloon pants. So I've been wearing them hunting during deer season here in North Carolina. I've worn them turkey hunting. I've worn them uh, throughout the winter. And for about six months now, I've worn them at least once or twice a week. And I've been very impressed with their performance, especially to the price ratio. So what do I like about them? Mostly everything. So we'll start with that. I'll talk about some of the things that don't work so well for me. And you can make your own decision. But I think for the money, they're a good bet. So we've got the cargo pockets here. Normal cargo pockets, but they've got a gusset. And then inside, they've got two smaller areas where you could stuff AR-15 magazines, um, really anything that you wanted to put. I carry a tourniquet here, and uh, the AR-15 magazine fits perfectly. So you could throw some Glock masks, whatever. Whatever you need to fit in the pants, you can do. So there's some extra features built into the cargo pockets. It's not just one large dump pouch. So moving up from there, there is these two front pockets, which also happen to conveniently an AR-15 magazine, or if you're out on the range, you don't want to run your battle belt set up, whatever, they fit that. A Glock magazine is still easily accessible if you don't want to run a mag carrier, so those are some awesome features there. Um, they come with a reinforced knee, which is nice because if you're out on the range and you're actually doing more than just shooting cardboard standing still you're in the dynamic shooting position shooting behind cover whatever you can wear out a pair of pants pretty quick they also have a built-in slot to throw in a knee pad if you so choose the pockets the main front pockets are reinforced so that if you carry a knife with on either side I carry a flashlight the Streamlight Protect 90 uh, about it it's reinforced so it doesn't wear through like blue jeans and other pants have been known to do and uh, the back pockets are straight up normal back pockets with velcro closures and the last feature uh, as we're moving up is the wide belt loops to fit the belt loop to fit really any size belt it's got some clips here proper advertises them as a uh, sunglasses loop I've never seen anybody do this, but I guess if that's cool to you, you could uh, totally put your sunglasses there. Uh, probably not something I'm going to do, but you might could hook your keys there or whatever. You, you might find a purpose for that that I won't. But what I really like about these is when you're carrying concealed, there's two features that make it really awesome for a concealed carry. There is a rubber liner along the entire waist that helps grip to your pants so you don't get that slippage of your boxers and then it's an expandable waist as you stretch it out it slides it's got these sort of built-in uh, feature that allows it to adjust so whether you're carrying different guns or maybe you have too much to eat at lunch and your belly's a little bigger than normal whatever the situation might be that it, it'll fit you and it'll fit comfortably so if you haven't noticed i like the pants for 60 bucks you get a lot of bang for the buck so what do i dislike about them 
there's two things and they're, they're kind of minor and it's more of a personal issue maybe than something that would apply to everyone. As you can see, I'm a fairly slim dude. I'm six foot tall, 160 pounds, and they're a little bit baggy for my taste. The reason I say they're a little bit baggy for my taste is Proper calls this their classic fit. They have some pants that are more of an athletic fit. Here comes that helicopter I was telling you about. Looks like an Apache. Somebody would probably call me out and say, no, that was a blank, blank, a blank, blank. But, you know, I mean, close enough. I play Call of Duty, so I know these things, right? All right. That was a joke, by the way. Calm down. Just a joke. So, they're a little bit baggy for me and my personal taste. Not obnoxiously baggy, they're not MC Hammer pants, they're not Jean Coes, 1990 style, but they are a little bit baggy. Second complaint is, again, a personal one, they're a little bit thick, so for hot summer days, they're not quite as lightweight fabric as some of the other pants fabric, or some of the other pants that Proper offers. So, again, a heavier weight fabric. But at the end of the day, if I had to give these a gear rating, Especially for the price point, they would totally get four out of five gears. I would recommend them for anybody who doesn't wear tactical pants for a living and wants a good set of tactical pants that they can use to train with and use on the range.